السلام علیکم دس از کیسا زہر الزیدی بی پی ون سکس فائیو زیرو ون زیرو ایٹ اینڈ دی ٹاپک آف مائی پریزنٹیشن از کلاکسر سلون کلاکسر سلون از این اینٹی بائیٹک بلونگنگ ٹو دی پینسلن کلاس آف اینٹی بائیٹکس دی ریشنل یوز آف کلاکسر سلون انکلوڈس انڈیکیشنز فار تھیراپی دی ڈائریکٹ تھیراپی از بیسکلی بیکٹیریل انفیکشن از پروو بائی کلچرل سینسیٹیوٹی ٹیسٹ اور سیرولوجیکل ٹیسٹ Empiric therapy restricts to critical situation when there is insufficient time for test, diagnosis and threat to patient's life. Drug of choice Before prescribing any antibiotic, a prescriber should be aware about the causative agent, which is depending upon clinical insights and laboratory reports. Patient factors before choosing a drug of choice are Neonates, elderly, pregnant, lady, lactating mother, history of allergic reactions, immune compromising diseases and any comorbidities. Dosage modifications depends upon the age, weight, hepatic, renal function, pregnancy, severity of infection of a patient. Duration of treatment is basically a time frame of the regimen when it is effective. which basically depends upon the nature of infection and response to therapy. Cost A prescriber should always consider patient's affordability before devising a therapeutic plan. Irrational uses include prescribed without bacteriological information. A prescriber does not have enough or insufficient knowledge about the causative agent. Prescribed with interactive medicines. Cloxacillin has drug interactions with number of drugs, so those drugs should be avoided while prescribing cloxacillin. Improper dosage form or low dose. It is seen that a patient of elderly age is given a capsule or a new need is given a capsule which is hard and impossible for them to swallow. Self-medication Self-medication is commonly seen in Pakistan that here people don't tend to visit doctors upon having any illness or bacterial infection. They just go to the pharmacy and take their previous prescriptions and purchase the previously prescribed antibiotics and this results in bacterial resistance in community. Infective regimen When in the due time frame the therapy doesn't respond to the expectations, it is because of the infective regimens. Indications Floxacinol is indicated in cellulitis, endocarditis, pneumonia, bone joint infection, skin and soft tissue infection, sepsis. These all are caused by staphylococcus and streptococcal species. So basically, floxacinin is used against staphylococcus and streptococcal bacteria. Contraindications Penicillin, allergy, Hypersensitivity, kidney dysfunctions, liver muscle functions. Floxacillin shouldn't be prescribed to patients having these, any of these. Drug interactions are observed in acetylsalicylic acid, amikacin, azithromycin, BCG vaccine, caprimycin, ciprofloxacin, toxicycline, methotrexate, paracetamol, valproic acid, and warfarin. Side effects include cholestatic joindus which could be due to allergy or hypersensitivity reactions, hemolytic anemia, blood dyscariasis, seizures, intestinal nephritis, neurotoxicity. While the most commonly observed are nausea and vomiting, GI disturbances, and hyperthermia. Toxicity overdose 
the toxicity index of toxicillin is quite low therefore there is no antidote for it in case of overdosing or toxicity the administration of toxicillin should be stopped temporarily and excretion is promoted via dialysis or emesis Toxicillin available in local brands. Toxicillin is manufactured by following manufacturers. In the dosage form of 250-500 and in syrups we have 125 per 5 ml, 255 per 5 ml. Here to be considered are the cost of these and the effectiveness so in dosage form capsules if we look at the cost of Zaha pharmaceuticals product Floxacin it is of PKR 21.24 which is pocket friendly as compared to the others same as in the syrup the Zaha pharmaceutical provides a syrup of 125 per 5 ml dose in PKR 20.85 whereas if we see in injections we have Bosch pharmaceuticals product Bosch of 250 mg which is available in PKR 25 per vial it is basically available in 25 per, I, per vial but Injections are quite costly as compared to the dosage forms capsules and syrup as they are used in emergency situations like in severe uh, infections or there is a threat to the patient so it is basically used less as compared to the capsules and syrups so it it has a little inflation in price the dosage form is choosed according to the condition of a patient and dose is also set after seeing the severity of the infection frequency as as per the regimen alternative choices of floxacillin could be cephalexin cephalexin belongs to the cephalosporin class and it is a substitute in penicillin hypersensitive patients. It is it has a broad spectrum against gram positive bacteria. Clindamycin is a widely proved drug for streptococcal and staphylococcal infections. It is used as a second or third line of more serious infections. Amoxicillin potassium chlorinate, known as augmentin. It is the most potent inhibitor of staphylococcal beta lactamase. It has a broader spectrum than all of these. Case study MZH 39 years presents to the ER with a 3 to 4 day history of increasing pain around his right hip. Secondly, to an injury she received falling on the sidewalk. In addition, she has a fever and feels weak, lethargic and nauseated. Examination reveals a swollen, warm and extremely tender hip with erythema. MZ has a temperature of 39.9 degrees centigrade and appears quite healthy. A diagnosis of moderate to severe cellulitis is made when MZ is hospitalized because of the severity of the infection. MZ has no other underlying medical problem. What empiric antibiotic regimen would be reasonable for MZ? Soap notes include subject, object, assessment, and plan. Subject Age 39, gender female, chief complaint, increasing pain around right hip due to injury 3 to 4 days ago. Mechanism of injury was fell on sidewalk onto her right hip. Medical history patient has no underlying ailment or comorbidity. Object patient is feverish, that is 39.5. 9 degree centigrade and it's an evident for the bacterial infection. Patient also feels weakness, nauseous and lethargic. 
Examination of wound reveals swollen, red, warm, and extremely tender head. A sysling device that there is a moderate to severe cellulitis and the patient is hospitalized because of severity of infection. Plan Loxacillin is the first choice of drug in cellulitis and the dose is 500 mg IV 6 hourly. IV is recommended as the patient is in severe pain and there is a severe infection also. To mitigate the condition, we are giving Loxacillin in IV and 6 hourly and in 500 mg. But after 2 days, if condition has clinically improved, we will switch to 250 mg mg or to 500 mg orally ibuprofen is also given for fever and pain and the dose is 200 to 400 mg per oral q4 to 6 hourly it is recommended to raise the affected limb to treat the swelling so oral or iv floxacillin depending on the situation is appropriate in empiric therapy for cellulitis in an otherwise healthy individual such as MZ. By healthy individual, we means that MZ has no other comorbidity or underlying ailment. Cloxacillin has good activity against staphylococcal and streptococcal organisms and is better tolerated than erythromycin or clindamycin. There are other antibiotics also available having the activity against staphylococcal and streptococcal organisms which are being evaluated for effectiveness in skin and soft tissue infections, but none is more effective than proxacillin. Cephalosporin and cephalexin could also be given, but it just adds to the cost of treatment as it is more expensive than proxacillin and the, and the main task of the prescriber or the physician is that the treatment should be effective and less expensive. For the patient. So the empiric, appropriate empiric therapy is given toxicillin. Thank you.